for some bizarre reason, it's got me at zero 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 playtime zero, despite the fact that I spent fucking hours playing it last night. But here you can check out everybody's scores and shit like that, and compare yourself to others. Stats and awards. Um, this basic stats, see what I mean? Look, skill level 904, time played 1 hour 44 minutes 1 second. Deaths 127, kills 93, score blah blah blah. Uh, you might be sat there thinking, oh, look at you, KD. I don't care about KD, so don't even fucking bother flaming on my or raging on my fucking comment section because I'll just remove you and tell you you're a fucking moron. Um, but basically, if you're coming from, if you spend a lot of time on Modern Warfare uh, 2 and you're coming onto this, you'll find it freaking hard. Uh, and in typical Medal of Honor style, you've got your medals and ribbons from um, attacking objectives. Do you know what I mean by the... It won't let me... you got to be... you got to highlight the mouse. See, like down here. And you got... My mouse is down there, but it's still highlighting that. So it won't let me select that. And they clear ten objectives. Um, kill an, kill, you get a medal for killing someone, for fuck's sake. Get one survivor kill. You know, basically stuff like that. You know, I'll have a quick fifty for them. If you pause the video, you can have a read of them. Do 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 do. Oh, I can't reach the middle ones for some random reason. Yeah, them ones there. I can't highlight for Zoe, but this is what I mean by the uh, menu structure being a bit fucked up. Come on. Ah, oh, why can't? There we go. Point bonus one in a round. Kill ten enemies with a rifle kit. Around kill ten enemies with sniper kit and so on. Again, I'll quick flick, flick through if you want to read them. Pause the videos at each one, read them. It's all pretty sweet stuff. Ah, uh, come on, work with me. No, oh, sorry about that. I said the menu structure is a bit fucked up. I like that one, you know, and kill four enemies at the same time. Okay, well, that's basically it. Um, there's three classes, as you say, rifle, spec ops, and sniper. Rifleman's standard M16 or AK with grenade launcher, as well as um, a pistol and... What's his special weapon? I can't remember what his special weapon is. Uh, you've got special ops, which are... Oh, why can't I select them? Fuck you, then. Ah, oh, it's been gay. Right, special ops are armed with M4 or some other random gun, uh, pistol, and uh, normally either an IED or C4. Sniper expert. Oh, not sniper expert. That's my la level. Uh, snipers are armed with you know sniper rifles, pistols, and oh no, sorry, the snipers are armed with the IEDs and C4. Special ops are armed with anti-tank weapons such as the RPG-7 and ATS-4H. Um, unlock tree, yeah, same as Modern Warfare 2 except a little bit simpler. Um, each class has um, levels going all the way up to tier level 8, T1 recruit. And uh, so basically at each level you unlock something, level 2 regular, you get extra magazines, red dot sight, saw, suppressors, better ammunition, scope, and whatever that is, muzzle brakes. Um, so yeah, unlike um, Modern Warfare 2 where you just level up, uh, you actually level up the class rather than yourself. So like on this one I'm a level 3 uh, rifleman. Uh, a level two uh, special ops and a level two sniper. So I said special ops, carbine, extra magazines, red dot sight, shotgun, uh, suppressor, slugs, scope, and laser sights, which the enemy can see, but it's more accurate. Blah blah blah. You can see down here; it tells you how many points you need. Uh, you don't get XP; you get points, and. Uh, Basically, the point system is basically um, 
It's not just for kills, it's for all sorts of random crap. You go around with a pistol, you kill someone with a pistol, you get 10 points for the kill, you get 5 points for uh, a pistol kill. If the dude is shooting at you at the same time, and you're taking damage as well as killing him, you'll get another 15 points for survivor. If you kill someone before they kill a friend, you get um, a rescue bonus, all sorts of shit like that. So your points will just fucking fly at you. So you've got bolt action sniper rifles, range finders. I don't see the point in this really. Laser range finder attached to the barrel gives the exact measurements for extra shots. Extreme shots even. Don't get it. Uh, yeah, uh, basically all the same stuff. Um, hang on a sec. Do I want it? Wait, no, what? Yeah, unlock tree. What about the fucking insurgents? Normally there's a button down here which you click to swap sides, basically you have a look at your insurgents um, thing. Basically how it is, it's not, you know, you're going to a match and you're whichever side. Um, and then you go to a match and then you're on another side and you might be that side again. Basically they just keep rotating it. Um, it's pretty intelligent. You go into a map as an insurgent, you come out of that map and you go back into a map. What am I talking about? Map. If you go into a game, I'm saying map because there's only two maps available for the two different um, things. But if you go into um, a game and you play Insurgents and you stay in that game, you know, then you'll be uh, Coalition, then you'll be Insurgents. But if you go in, you'll be Insurgents, you come out of the game, exit the game completely, go back in, go back into the gameplay, then it will say, oh, right, you're Insurgents, last we'll put you as co Coalition. It's pretty cool. Um, so then you've got the change gear, you can turn around and say, right, extra clips, yeah. Let's save that, you. But yeah, switch team. There we are. Insurgents, riflemen, AKs, iron sights, red dot sights. Why is he not saving it? Yep, switch team, insurgents, special ops. And it's just like, uh, yeah, that's the sort of stuff. Right then, let's get into the um, game style. Game. Start for Team Assault. First time you play this game, it will chuck you on a map on your own, just so you can get used to the controls and stuff like that. And then you're just basically running around, getting used to what's what. Now, it is the beta, so the gameplay is a bit choppy. Um, the movement isn't all that great. It's a bit sluggish and weird. Is it me or is that a bit loud? I'll turn that down a little bit. It's right in my ears. Another annoying thing is, I keep putting cr toggle crouch on. Oh, he's friendly. Ha ha ha! I was getting a bit excited then. Yeah, some of the option selects are a bit weird. I keep telling it to um, toggle crouch on, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it's getting very bunny hopping friendly. Sorry, just find some fuckers to kill. I'll get killed. Also, the weapon selection is a bit weird as well. The clipping is a bit random. I should hear someone. It's really annoying this. You die so fucking easily. Very long is not exactly my Haha, what a bitch. I didn't kill it, which is annoying. Don't be sneaky as fuck. It can be quite hard to spot the enemies. It can almost take a full fucking magazine to down an enemy. 
the spawning features on this is pretty good as well. Um, during the t uh, assault combat, so the assault campaign, um, you got a choice to deploy at base or deploy at front line. And basically, what you'll see in the background is an over the ca over the shoulder camera angle, and that basically shows you where you're going to respawn. But my girlfriend keeps complaining that she keeps respawning in the face of the enemy, and I'm like, I watched her video of it, and I was like, well, you are asking to deploy at the front line, so yeah, you are going to deploy right in the face of the enemy because that's what the front line is.